Storage units can contain someone's entire life, but even in a pandemic, companies won't think twice to throw that life away. Contact Denver 7 consumer investigator Jacqueline Allen has heard from multiple people whose belongings were tossed or sold without warning. And tonight she's trying to get them some help. For hundreds of Colorado storage units, contact Denver 7 found the auction clock is ticking. Everything, everything I had. Everything I had was in there. Since we first reported on people unemployed in the pandemic struggling to pay storage rent, hundreds have commented. Some, this should be like evictions. There needs to be a stop to this. Others, you sign a contract. It's a service. The big hearted want to buy a unit or two and return it to the owner. Others ask us, why aren't you on the doorsteps of our leaders demanding solutions? We did go straight to the top, asking Governor Polis if, like some other governors, he would consider a moratorium on storage unit auctions. Uh, we, of course, want to look at uh, predatory practices across other industries, including storage, to make sure that nobody is taking advantage of consumers in their time of need. Contact Denver 7 has since learned there is some help. Denver Human Services tells us they have an emergency assistance program to pay storage fees for Denver County County residents experiencing homelessness. It goes deeper than just stuff. Realtor Marty Fury lost furniture and family heirlooms when her storage unit was auctioned with no notification after she paid her rent. After Contact Denver 7 reported her story, she says the CEO is offering restitution. I am grateful to Channel 7 because you guys really were the catalyst to get them to respond at all. Up until that point, I had gotten nothing. She'll never replace what she lost, which is why she worries about the ticking clock for so many others. Especially coming out of a year of COVID, closed businesses, lost jobs. Things have to change with the laws and how things are handled with storage places. For Contact Denver 7, I'm Jacqueline Allen. And of course, we are here to help. If you need assistance writing a wrong, leave us a voicemail at the number right there on your screen or email us at contact7 at thedenverchannel.com.